This is Alfred. This is Alfred Hitchcock style. <laughs> Welcome to the Wicker Bar. You know me. I'm the host of this video, Lord Sippy Blaine, the Duke of the goddamn mother flip flapping Del Ridge. Um, okay, I have a confession to make. It's about one o'clock in the afternoon, and we're going for it. Uh, Ray is my guest. Hello. Tiki, Tiki with Ray, famous, famous, famous YouTuber. Yeah, that's right. Uh huh. That's right. <laughs> that's why we're start. That's why we're starting in so early. His flight, his flight came in. Um, so I said, "Is it going to be a little bit too early?" And he said, "No, never." Um, I got to take my Learjet back to Seward Park after I'm done here. So. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> he has a, a landing strip. Landing strip on the lake. Yes, um, so Ray came down. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a little cocktail. Then we're gonna do a little. A little. Uh, um, chit chatting later on, but um, obviously Tiki with Ray. So um, Tiki is Ray's uh, a Tiki aficionado, and you know me, I'm kind of in the middle. I don't I don't claim allegiance to anything except for um, what's in these bottles right here. Um, so Ray wanted to do a Tiki drink. Yes. Okay, we'll have to use these glasses. That's right. I'm a little I'm a little underprepared. Um, also because Ray's still not home yet. Um, so Ray wanted to do a Tiki drink. Yes. So first, uh, yes. So I was first looking in in this one right here that we got in Astoria a few weeks back. Wasn't finding anything in there. And then um, I pulled out the uh, Trader Trader Vic's book of food and drink. Flipped through the pages. Ray was enamored. He hadn't, he hadn't seen this particular one. It's only the 1946 version. Um, if anybody later on wants to get me a uh, earlier or later, much more expensive version, maybe with a slip cover, that would be most, most appreciated. Um, flipping through here, flipping through here. Page 68, right before 69. Actually, the uh, recipe does uh, go lower on the 69. It's on the uh, tall ones um, section. Um, this one is called the uh, Tortuga. The Tortuga. Tortuga, turtle. If you've ever been to uh, Hawaii, you can go out there and swim um, with the turtles. Um, it's fabulous. I've done it. Um, so No, wait, hold on. You've been to Hawaii? Yeah. Which yeah. island? They're all uh, we went to Maui. Maui some years ago. Um, and actually, we're going to go um, to Maui in April for a friend's wedding, which has been postponed, postponed, and postponed, and postponed. Have, so, you, have you ever done the road to Honda? We did part of it. Yeah, that's... that's we, did, we did not... We didn't do the whole thing. Yeah. You could talk about it, but just, just do, do like about a half hour and be like, okay, this is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Once you've seen it, there's... Yeah. All right. Okay. Tortuga. Is that what it is? A, a turtle? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Spanish. I didn't know that. Yeah, I do that. Pardon me. All the oh oh wait here we go. Pardon me all the hell if I if I seem boastful, and that's me. But this is my own concoction, not me, but uh, uh, Trader Vic, and it's a swell drink. With it, you can get beautifully and aristocratically fried on both sides with very little after effects. Oh, wait, it says that in there. It does. Look, read. <clears throat> Pardon me all the hell if I see what's going on. Yeah, right? I thought you were just saying that. I'm oh, like, but I'm like, dude, if I could have, like... <laughs> and since um, I was actually uh, looking through the uh, cocktail book, um, I'm waiting on just uh, uh, a couple more pages. Are, they're coming in this afternoon. But I was looking at it um, last night with Steve McVeigh, and he looked at one of the recipes, and he saw overproof rum. He says, I know what that is. Yeah, McCarty 151. Because um, when we were um, in, in high school, I mean, you could get, there was three kinds of rum. There was a Bacardi, the light rum, um, the dark rum, and the 151 rum. And obviously, when we were in high school, uh, we, we went for that little pint bottle of the 151. And uh, inevitably, you know, it always turned out to be a big mistake. Um, so, 151 rum, and it actually has two ounces in it. So, some of these just have like a little float, a little floater on the top there of the uh, 151. And Ray's with it. It's oh, wait, just so like, did you say there's two ounces of it? There's two ounces. Okay. So, you know, just good like... Thing I'm not, good thing my Learjet... Look, <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not taking my fly so, my yeah. Learjet home. Um, yeah, just like Ray. Um, at, the, at the thought of that, my mouth would start to water. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and get, get this going. No, you know what's funny? Because I live so close. I don't have a Learjet. I have one of those those like jet pack things where the guy's like... That's even, that's even better. All right, see you, Blaine. Thanks for having me on the show. And they smash into the Yeah, you know, Le Learjets are so 1990. You know. That is at two ounces... Don, Don Q, that was the only overproof rum that I could find. When I went to the liquor store... It's, well, Don Q's great. Yeah. That stupid Total Wine and More where they always... It's like, oh, whatever, dude. Um, 
She didn't even know what I was talking yeah, about. Yeah, you go in there and you end up you end up scoring them. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, I had one guy in there that was trying to uh, sell me on uh, peanut butter whiskey. It's like, oh, no, I don't want your peanut butter whiskey. Okay, two ounces, the 151. And um, I put, picked this uh, Dorley's uh, a Barbados. Oh, that's Green. a good rum. Well, thank you. Good. That's I'm a really good rum. Some good, good ones. I got two ounces of that one. We have just a little teeny bit of our blood orange. What is that? Uh, some blood orange juice. Blood orange juice. Yes. Okay. I'm going to do just a wee bit extra because it doesn't quite have as much orangey. Yeah, that is the most reddest, that's the bloodiest looking orange. They're, they're wonderful if you've ever uh, cut one open. One ounce of both lemon and lime, freshly squeezed, put in these uh, reusable bottles. It's all about being green and responsible. Man, there's a lot of ingredients in this thing. Um, a quarter ounce of, of curacao. Hence, hence the reason, you know, Victor Bergeron, he has to, he was all about the curacao. Yes. And you know what the interesting thing is, like, I know, I, I, the only drinks that I've noticed that have curacao on it are the Trader Vic's drinks. Mai Tai, Pod Cutter, you know, stuff like mm -hmm. that. Not the Don Bistro Bistroma drinks. You don't know, see no curacao on any of those. Well, what does he use instead? He does a lot of, um, what he call it, like a Don's Mix, which was like a combination of, like, grapefruit and cinnamon. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of grapefruit and cinnamon in his drinks, a lot of absinthe. Absinthe, for no right, right, like right, a black yeah. licorice. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of his drinks are more spicier, okay. but the Trader Vic's drinks are usually a lot more lighter, more, a lot more easier to drink. Well, and that's probably why it has creme de cacao in there as well. Yeah. Although I'm curious to see how much all this is going to mix in with the 151 because that's some serious stuff. <laughs> it is. Uh, and that's. I'm just going to polish off. I just got a little bit of that grenadine left up in there. Okay. Oh, I didn't do the vermouth. And there's vermouth, too. Is there? There it is. Two ounces of overproof rum, two ounces of the other rum. And actually, that this is 151. The other rum that they called for was a 126. So that seemed... 126. Oh, that'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Yeah, this is a four-square rum. This is a really good rum. I'm all about the blood. Do you have a particular favorite rum? Favorite style, favorite type? Um, you know, I I don't, because I make cocktails for my wife, and she's not necessarily a fan of the, the more brown brown spirits. What does she like? She likes gin. Gin, okay. So she probably likes Saturn. And, yeah. Yeah. Gin and tonic skin. Yeah, gin. Yeah. Okay, whoa. Um, this is going to be one really, really potent cocktail. So, if you haven't already taken a moment... Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, um, share this channel with your friends. Ooh, this. Smash that like button. Smash that like button. You know, I saw I, I saw some other some internet thing about you know how to shake a cocktail. Well, you know, you want to shake it behind your back just in case you go like this. You know, you don't have the lid on, and I don't. You know, I spew. All right. It's rich and delicious liquid. As long as it's shaking and it's cold, that's all that matters, right? Yeah. So unfortunately. When I went upstairs last time, I forgot to grab some appropriate tiki glasses, but... Well, this is this a strain drink? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then this is, this is perfect, then. That's... We, we do all, all of our cocktails like that. We very, yeah. very, very rarely do we do one on the rocks. Very rarely do I do any kind of a garnish. Yeah. I mean... It kind of looks like a blood and sand. It's sort of. I wonder if it's similar to it. Okay, right. Let's make this happen. Cheers. Tortuga. Huh. Remarkably, that's nice and smooth and delicious. I don't. You're like this is like you're like a magician. Yeah, well, that's I, a... I'm not tasting the 151 at all. I'm not tasting that 151 at all. That's that's dangerous. Anyway, you know. We're going to get out of here. I'm going to turn this off. We're going to get on with the rest of our business. Um, that's it. Today is Sunday. Bless you all. Thank you for uh, joining us. I have a guest today. I'm not alone. I've been alone since Thursday. Everybody left after the video shoot. That was okay. They left. We, we had fun. All right. I'll catch you all later.